Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving quadratic equations using quadratic formula. Kanina, we have uploaded a video wherein ang topic natin is all about solving quadratic equations but we used completing the square. And by the way, this is the last part or the last method na pag-uusapan natin on how to solve quadratic equations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We have here this equation, x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. And this is our quadratic formula na gagamitin natin on how to solve this given quadratic equations. So let's try solving that equation using the quadratic formula. We have x is equal to negative b, positive negative square root of b squared, minus 4ac, all over 2a. Now, as you can see, in our quadratic formula, we have here the isolated x, meaning we need to find the value of x or the roots of the quadratic equation, and these letters a, b, and c, uh, we need to find them, or we need to, net to get the values of a, b, and c within this given quadratic equation. So, review lang muna tayo. Remember that in quadratic equation, our standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Meaning, in this kind of equation, your a is the coefficient of x, which is 1. So we can put here a is equal to 1. And your b is the coefficient of your linear term, which is negative 2. So your b is negative 2. This is your a. This is your b. And for your constant c, the value is negative 15. Right after identifying the values of a, b, and c, you are now ready to use this quadratic formula. By the way guys, before identifying first pala, yung ating a, b, and c, you need to transform muna yung ating quadratic equation in standard form. In this case kasi, this quadratic equation is already in standard form. So let's continue using the formula. You need to copy the variable x is equal to your negative b. So as you can see, this is negative b. First, don't be confused. Copy the negative sign. Then this is your b. Replace this using the value which is negative 2. So you will put it inside the parentheses that is negative 2. Again, copy the negative sign. Automatic copy the negative sign. This variable b will be replaced by negative 2 and then copy positive negative square root of b square, meaning that is negative 2 square and close it by parentheses. Let's extend this radical sign, minus 4, your a is 1, so times 1, again minus 4 times 1, your c is negative 15, so times negative 15. For your denominator, you have 2a, so all over 2 times the value of your a, which is 1. So as you can see, we have substituted the values of a, b, and c within the formula. Our task now is to simplify this. But you will start first with the radical sign. And here, so copy x is equal to negative times negative that is positive. You need to take it slow para maging sigurado ka. What is the answer here? And copy your positive negative square root of. Your negative 2 times 2, negative 2, sorry, negative 2 squared is the same as negative 2 times negative 2. That's why the correct answer is positive 4. So this is positive 4. Minus negative 4 times 1, negative 4 times 1, that is negative 4, times negative 15, that will give you the answer of 
positive 60. So, hindi siya minus, that is plus 60. Again, what happened here? Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times negative 15, that is positive 60. Over 2 times 1, your denominator is 2. We need to simplify this radical. You have x is equal to 2 positive negative square root of 60 4 over 2. And as you can see, we can simplify 64 because 64 is a perfect square. So let's continue our solution here. So what we have now is that we have x is equal to 2 positive negative. The square root of 64 is 8 over 2. Now, after simplifying the radical, you have square root of 64 which is 8. We are now ready in finding or identifying the two values of x, which we will start with x sub 1 followed by your x sub 2. For x sub 1, we will copy this 2. And since we have here positive negative, we will use first the positive 8. So plus 8 over 2. And for x sub 2 naman, we will copy this 2. Then since we are done using the positive 8, we will now use the negative 8 minus 8 over 2. Let us simplify this. 2 plus 8 is equal to 10 over 2 and 10 divided by 2 which is equal to 5. Therefore, your x sub 1 or the first root of this quadratic equation x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0 is 10 over 2 or 5. Okay? Let's continue with x sub 2. 2 minus 8 is negative 6 over 2. Simplify this. Your x sub 2 is equal to negative 6 over 2, which is negative 3. Now, these are the roots of the given quadratic equation. In other words, these are the possible solutions, or these are the solutions that will satisfy this given equation. By the way, you can check your answer by substituting these values to this to this equation. So let me give an example. Let's try positive 5. So we have now x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. This checking is not required, pero advisable to if you want to check whether your answer is correct. If your x is equal to 5, that is 5 squared minus 2 times 5 minus 15 is equal to 0. This is 25. Negative 2 times 5, that is negative 10. Minus 15 is equal to 0. This is 25 minus 10, which is 15. Minus 15, that is 0, is equal to 0. Since the two are equal, meaning they are, uh, the answer is correct. So if you, want, if you want to try negative 3, tell me sa ating comment section if x sub 2 is correct. So I hope guys you learned something from this video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye!